get a free CGB Shark token when you use the promo code CGB5 at checkout on any order at CoolStuffInc.com. That's promo code CGB5 at CoolStuffInc.com. And a big thank you to them for sponsoring my channel. You're cool. As the mythic season draws to a close, players are trying to get into the top 1200 to qualify themselves for a future tournament event. Me, the one and best of one. Well, I'm already qualified. I don't need it. Not important. I literally get nothing for staying in the top 1200. Other people, a chance at glory. What do we do? Do we lie down for them? Give up our spot? Or do we make them earn it? I think you know the answer. Let's put it this way. If you get milled out in 2022 standard, you don't deserve that spot. <laughs> so we're playing mill in standard 2022. And first of all, credit for the deck. The first person to kind of send me a mill list was a patron. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And I played with that deck. And while she had a lot of success with it, I had some trouble with that. Uh, but then Ali Eldrazi was playing this version on stream or something close to it the other day. I didn't see the exact list, but it had a lot of these cards. And I was like, okay, this, this I can get into because it's kind of really close to a control shell but then it sidesteps the typical attack the opponent to death or planeswalker them to death and goes for just attack your library plan with a very small package of cards. Dual Strike in particular is really cool because you can copy Tasha's Hideous Laughter or Maddening Cacophony, but, but you can also copy your removal and card draw spells so that you stay alive. So basically it's a mill card that can function as a defensive measure as well. So it's a very important card in the deck. It copies your next instant or sorcery that's four or less. Interesting to note, you can copy a kicked Maddening Cacophony. Now this deck plays different from most mill decks. You'll notice that there's no rune crap. And here's what's up. You want the opponent to think you're like a control deck or a Prismari dragon deck, because that does change how they play against you. They'll hold up Soul Shatter, thinking that Goldspan Dragon is going to come at any moment. You don't want them to know you're a mill deck. You honestly just try to build these cards up in your hand. The first mill card you play of the game, you don't want it to be Tasha's Hideous Laughter. You want it to be a kicked Maddening Cacophony. You want your first... I, I can't stress this part enough. This part, you guys who skip the intro, you're gonna copy the list, you're gonna go play it, you're never gonna win a game, you're gonna leave me whiny comments. The most important thing about this deck is that you do not want to cast a mill card before you kick a Maddening Cacophony. You wanna take half their library, and then what the Splinter Twin effect kind of is, is you cast a kicked Maddening Cacophony, sometimes with a dual strike cloning it, and then the next mill card you cast is often lethal, like a Tasha's Hideous Laughter, or a dual strike Tasha's Hideous Laughter. So, repeat after me. The first mill card you want to play. You do not want to cast Maddening Cacophony on turn two in mill eight. <laughs> mill eight. And then I cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter and I mill 20. And then you do nothing for the rest of the game and you die. No, the first mill card you want to play is a kicked Maddening Cacophony. If you do that, you are far more likely to win the game. You are far more likely to win the game. I don't know. I, I know that people aren't going to get this. I know that people are going to leave me nasty comments about this video. But the strategy of the deck is to play control, then kick a Maddening Cacophony, then have the next mill card be lethal, as opposed to trying to get like this critical mass of playing like mill every turn, which is what a lot of the mill fans try to do. Anyway, hopefully I've stressed enough how important it is that your first mill card be a kicked Maddening Cacophony. All right. The rest of the deck is just stay alive. We've got four copies of Battle of Frost and Fire, surprisingly good against the Blood Money deck because it kills Lulth and damages Kaya quite a bit while also sweeping the board in a number of occasions. The Scry is really important to get you more of the mill cards. The Chapter 3 is really good with uh, the Epiphanies because you get deeper and deeper in the deck. So love Battle of Frost and Fire. You can get it back with Divide by Zero, which is a really cool ability. And Divide by Zero, of course, 
handle some bigger creatures that you can't kill with the likes of Prismara Command, Frostbite, and Battle of Frost and Fire. So divide by zero is very important. Our sideboard has Sciences, one Teachings, one Prophecy for when you're not sure, which I found came up a lot in this deck. I wasn't sure what I needed. I wasn't sure Teachings would be good. I didn't think I needed another land. I didn't think I wanted to cast Mascot Exhibition and uh, went with the Prophecy. By the way, three mascot exhibitions, they are important because against aggro decks, you're probably never going to mill them. You really just want to pretend this card isn't in your deck. You really just want to scry it to the bottom, discard it to Prismari Command, discard it or to Battle of Frost and Fire, put it on the bottom with Expressive Iteration, just avoid drawing Tasha's Hideous Laughters and Cacophonies to the best of your ability against aggro, and try to win with, a mas with like mascot exhibitions and All Runs Epiphanies taking over the game late. It's good enough against aggro. Against control, you need some different stuff. I think that our best matchups are going to be the Blood Money, the Black White uh, Treasure type control decks. I think those are what we're going to punish the most. And I think that matchups with things like Green and White are going to be really difficult, really, really hard. I don't like the idea of aggro farming me to get into top 1200, but I've farmed them pretty much every month for about three years. So letting a few aggro mages get their top 1200-ness, I guess, fine. Anyway, now I've introduced the deck. Let's dedicate it really quickly to William Bradshaw for joining and becoming a YouTube member. When you join, you get a chance to get a video and a cosmetic dedicated to your honor, but you definitely get perks. Uh, there are YouTube VODs from Twitch posted on YouTube for members only, ad-free with things like 2x speed so you can keep up with my live streaming shenanigans without leaving YouTube. Those are sweet. You also get access to a special Discord channel where you get to see my deck lists a day before they get posted so you can get ahead of what people will be playing tomorrow because people tell me that's a thing. Uh, and we buy a cosmetic in the honor of the chosen member for the day. What's it going to be today? Our options are Dual Strike, uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and we got Introduction to Prophecy hanging out in the wishboard. I think of this, the card that I'm going to use the most is Introduction to Prophecy, quite frankly. So let's shine it up. And now we dive in. Let the nonsense begin. All right, opponent goes first. We've got some removal. Let's see what happens. Opponent just coming out of the gates firing. Another mono white player. See if we can get them to play a Luminarch Aspirant here. Player in Spirit, sure. Nice draw. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Gross. All our snow lands. Um. I think we foretell here, actually. We might be using this with a command. Apparition for nothing. Just trying to be aggressive. Interesting. Let's see what the opponent does. I hope they don't blow out my play, but... Nah, they, they can't. They wouldn't. Perfect. Probably puts the counter on Redain, which we want to kill anyway. No. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting choice. So with the treasures, maybe I can get out over, out and over Redain, right? Maybe. It's just a 2-3, it's not the end of the world. They had something there they could have done. Gross. How do they do it? <laughs> it's mono white, right? All their cards are the same, that's how? Sure. <laughs> Portable hole your treasure. Yes, yes. Good, good. Hmm. Do 
Two damage, make a treasure. This is a 3-4. How do we kill a 3-4? We find Battle of Frost and Fire. All right. Let's find Battle of Frost and Fire. It's only four of them. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Right? Divide's pretty good. Sometimes all you need is a turn off from Redain to do something cool. Okay then, <laughs> it's gonna be this way. <laughs> Let's see how we do against a Grand Master of Flowers. Come be a hero. Two cards in hand, we get teachings, we do get a draw two. All right. Just chillin'. We're just chillin'. Monka. You gonna draw another monkey, monk? All right, remember, what, what loyalty is it? Seven. This thing becomes a seven, seven. Oof. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Seven is where this turns on. So, does Mari command it, maybe? Attack it with birds, probably. Let's say go, see what happens. They just skipped a combat. They didn't try to grow their monk. Why? Let's chill. See what else they try to do here. Monk. Elite. Bingo. That's the moment we waited for. And what do we get? Mascot? And mascot? Go get another monk. Okay. Come, walk with me. It's enough land, though. Two damage. I guess I'll do the draw, too. Cacophony. Take half their library. Is that what we're going for here? I don't think so. I think we gotta let that go. I think we're... We are mascot exhibition... All right, have we turned this game around? Keep in mind, Redain's probably coming back. Opponent can keep one of our creatures from attacking or blocking. That's a play they can make. They can also tax this mascot exhibition with the elite. Looks like they're not going for it. They're going for this. Okay. Let's talk. A little double block. Let's see what we find with the Behold. Another Epiphany is pretty good. We are an Epiphany deck sometimes. Pressure. That's a lot of land. But we get rid of you. Remember, justice always comes for evil. It's a lot of land to be drawn, guys.
<laughs> Whiff. <laughs> All right, these four fours have work to do. We're at six. We hold back three of these. I mean, if I hold back one of these, these can't attack. But I feel like we should be attacking for at least 10 to put them on notice, right? That they have to block. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, we can do more of these then. Let's go like this. They take it all. Well, now they're on notice for sure. Look at, they have four lands. We have 13 lands and a treasure. This is, um, this is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. One, two, three, four. Still have good attacks for you, and I guess for you. How close are you willing to get to death? Let's hold these for a Prismari command. Like, this is insane. We've drawn like four lands in a row at a crucial time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Our birds are nothing. They're nothing. Our beatdown plan is going to fail. It's going to fail. Who would have thought the Mildex beatdown plan could ever fail? Insane. Madness. Battle of Frost and Fire. Have we really not drawn any? What the hell? What the hell? We have drawn no Battles of Frost and Fire in half the deck. We've drawn, I think, five lands in a row off the top from a winning position. What is happening? Oh, hi. So, it does one less damage. It still clears the board, right? Because it does one less damage to everything. Wait a minute. Does that mean my... These live? Oh, I was about to attack with these. No. Oh, I should have played this pre-combat. I didn't think about it. I missed it. I missed it. Wait. Oh, it's only to things they control? A permanent you control. Okay, not in general. Okay. Fair enough. All right, got any creatures left in the tank? Probably your mono white. That's what white decks do. Sad Skyclave apparition. Frostbite does kill it. All right, three lands. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come on now. The mill plan. Wait, let, how how are we on the mill plan? Thirty six cards. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you're all you're all to the bottom. All right, stop drawing creatures. Quit it. Cut it out. Son of a... <laughs> Why? I know, their deck's all creatures, but you can draw some more land for me. What's wrong with that? All right, let's see if we can tr find something expensive to get the trigger from the battle. Uh, we cannot. We cannot find something expensive, unless we're also going to cast this, which we might. So let's take Dual Strike into hand. Let's exile you. Exile you. Oh, here we go. Dual strike. Do it again. Battle? Hand or what? I mean, do I want to cast Divide this turn? Not particularly. I think I do want to cast the battle. 
The thing is, if we reveal an epiphany, we're not going to cast this, right? Divide is cheaper. Reveal epiphany. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also don't cast epiphany. Um, okay. What would we rather have in hand? I think I'd rather have divide in hand. Let's see, divide, one, two, three, one, two. Nope, can't cast Exhibition either. Put this over here. And second iteration, second shot. There's the Epiphany. Oh, yay, we get a, a battle to hand. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. What a game. What a bunch of nonsense. There's my draw two value. I knew it. What the hell? What the actual hell is going on here? Every land in the deck, baby. That's that's what we're up to. That's what we're up to here. Every land in the deck. We'll settle for no less. Not the takedown on the bird that does nothing. No, anything but that. This is why you run three mascot exhibition, kids. For those of for those who make fun of me for how many mascot exhibitions I run. Remember, this does no damage because of the shield. No way. <laughs> the F okay, um, See, this is a no block. These are, these we can go for. Well, no, this block's here, right? So let's go with attack. Man, we need another Prismari command, but I think I used both of them. That shield, baby, that shield is so brutal. They scoop, but they can still block. Maybe they forgot how their own shield works. You gotta be tough to make that top 1200. Hand looks good. A removal spell, an iteration, a command. Let's do it. Let's put on the show. Our opponent is really, really fighting for top 1200. Like, on, on the edge. Let's see if we can get him in or get him out. I think we play this as late as we can because of the snowlands. Normally I'd play it right away. But yeah, we, we might need to frostbite a 3-3. Three, three. Opponent could drop a wolf here. Oh, they're going into the tank. They name blue with the Temple of the Dragon Queen revealing Masked Vandal. This is the party deck, I think. Go ahead and foretell. The party deck can be a tough one. But opening on Changeling isn't super ideal for them. Nimble Trap Finder. Good little shock target. They also could have Consecrated Defense open here. But I think what we're going to go for is the command and hope they don't. Beginning of combat, if you control a full party, they gain whenever this creature deals damage, draw a card. All right, another Vandal. The Vandals are at least kind of slow. Please resolve. I think there's a good chance this gets countered. Yep. Consecrated defense, one mana, basically one mana and a gate in a party deck. See what we see. Another Frostbite and a Dual Strike are both pretty good. We're looking at five lands. We need to get to six for the Epiphany and preferably seven. So I think I'm putting Dual Strike away. We're just going to try to hose them and then cast multiple Epiphanies and then set up the mill plan. So they don't have blue open right this minute. We use this, and then they play the 3-3. Three, three. They get a bunch of creatures. I am... Um, mm. Yeah, let's get make sure something dies this turn.
All right, two masked vandals isn't scary. They need the payoff cards to go with them. Temple of Dragon Queen is kind of cool because you can play it untapped with your changelings. I think that's a pretty cool innovation. There's the 3-3, the squad commander. Gonna need a battle of frost and fire preferably. Instead we draw another frostbite, but let's go ahead and make this thing die. And then let's do some foretelling. I don't think I can get punished too hard for this. I don't think they have a way to just pump everything and make me lose here. Yep, Arc Priest. So they get to hand out a plus one, plus one. This is really close. Really close. All right. Time for turns. Do they have it? Do they have the Consecrated Defense? Okay. Wow, that was scary. There's the battle. Do we go for that now? Or do we turn up a bit? I'm a little nervous that attacking with these, that battle won't resolve, but they let the epiphany resolve. Let's go for the battle. And I'm not attacking just in case because there is stick here. They could still have a consecrated defense and they were just like, epiphany's fine, but I'm protecting my board. Uh, also, it doesn't kill the Vandals, which is kind of cringe. Do you have another creature? No, you don't. Okay, let's pick off a Vandal. Something's holding priority here. I have no idea what it could be. Sky 3. Ooh. I mean, the mill plan, I think these two plus the cacophony should finish the job, right? All right, we'll go for it. We'll go for it with the epiphanies now. We'll set up our bird defenses. We'll maddening cacophony half their library. We want to cast the Epiphany here to trigger the um, the battle to get the draw two, discard one. Now we hit the whole library, or half of it, and then next turn we finish it. 23. We'll just hold back the whole squad as we now transform out of nowhere into a mill deck. <laughs> Hideous laughter. Nine cards. Hideous laughter. And that's game. Party players, you're going to have to win a few more. 97%. Outside chance of making it. There's still three hours. They could do it. Let's hold on to a, de a hand with Battle of Frost and Fire, although our setup's pretty bad. The Cacophony we want to play on turn six. Witherbloom Campus, huh? Interesting. Get this foretold. You don't want to rush your mill cards. You want a Cacophony for six and then untap Laughter Dual Strike, and that's kind of the Splinter Twin, the we win the game moment. Professor of Sim, blah, blah, blah. Let's hope the opponent's hand is a little slow, that their deck is a little slow. We need to draw another land. Or some spells that are at least useful and help us get there. We'd love to see them cast Sciences here, but they obviously have options because they're thinking about it. Yep. Well, that's good. So their, their deck is kind of slow. A little bit of a clunker. 
Play this in case we draw the Snarls. We're a Snarl deck. Let's hope they play some other creature to, for the battle to consume. This is the perfect time for it. Instead, it's a Foretell. What would they foretell? This looks like it could be a Doomscar deck. Okay, double Foretell. Jeez. Let's go. We're going to need that Scry. Well, without blue mana, this seems like it's some kind of a mid-range control deck. I think that's exactly what we want to fight. Oh, okay. Interesting. A little bit of hand hate from the opponent to make things hard. Okay, we draw the untapped land, which is very good. Plenty of good cards here, but I don't think I need the command. I think with these, I'll probably be fine. And now we unveil our secret plan. Our evil plan. Ooh, you have 22 cards. It's a, Oh, it's Reconstruct History! Sorry. Sorry, deck. Oh, it's my Covert Not Blue deck. Check out yesterday's video, or the day before's video. Oh, this is like... The, the worst matchup that could ever happen to that deck. Oh. I'm a bad, bad CGB. Destroying the thing I love the most. Let's see if we can finish the job here. Oh. Oh, there, there goes a set. Oh, they got two cards. They have two cards left in their deck. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh! What were the foretells? Show me. Poison the cup and Doomscar. Ooh, right on the edge of 1,200. Oh, baby, they want this win bad, don't they? Let's see what happens. We are really good at early Behold the Multiverse, and we've had it on the play lately, which is 10 times better than on the draw. So we often get to foretell and cast it. So, what's our opponent got? Faceless Haven, turn one. Send a message. I like it. I wonder if I can get this foretold and then copy the Behold. Ooh. All right. Looks like we might have a, a control-ish showdown here. Ooh, miss a land drop. Nasty. If we do this now, we end up discarding the hand size. Let's wait. I'm greedy. They'll foretell something else. Ooh, they found their land, though. Okay. They might counter one of these, but that's fine. Divide by zero land. Ah, oh, we'll take divide. Helps us win counter wars. And Epiphany. And Cacophony. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight card hand. No penalty. All right, definitely set them back here because they're struggling with their lands. And what do we get? Teaching's not really. Sciences, not nah. They'll probably counter a mascot exhibition though. Grab intro. Ooh, they say go. Kind of brutal. Don't have another counter though, but let's go for iteration. That'll annoy them. And we might hit another divide by zero to penalize them for their command. 
Oh, they're going for it now. They know. They know they're falling behind on this mana thing. Our own command. Blow up their treasure. Nice. Um, dual strike can go to hand. Yeah, show him who's boss. No treasure for you. All right, what do we discard? What's not doing it? Well, all this land is not quite doing it. I think that's fair. What do you guys think? We're gonna get to drop a cacophony upon them? They're going to expect some kind of counterspell when they go for their dragon, but we don't actually have one. So, at some point, we have to get them to counter something. These could be epiphanies, but they're probably, at least one is probably a saw it coming. I feel like we need some foretell moments, though. Okay. No Prismari command there. Here's the land. Do they just go for a dragon? It would take a lot of guts to go for a dragon there. Let's see if they counter this. No. It's a lot of land. Oh my goodness. We are land machine. All right, I think it's time to push them. What do we got, seven? So we go for a dual strike. They can't counter both the cacophonies that are kicked. And yes, it does counter it because it's a kicker. Or it does copy it because it's a kicker, even though it says four or less. So they can counter one, but they still lose half. So how many dragons? One dragon, two dragon, three dragon. So they've only got one left. It's probably in their hand, considering the way the game is played. And now the laughters can probably finish the job at 21, but we'll see. We have an epiphany. Try to save this for a powered up haven. Hall is scary. How many epiphanies? One. None? So their hand is like all epiphanies? Great. <laughs> Great. Good to know. Uh, they don't have the snow to even power this up. Look at their mana. It's awkward. So I guess we may as well use this on a bird. I don't think there's going to be another useful target. <laughs> I'm guessing they're... Alright, okay, they're gonna go for Imrith because they're not gonna get there otherwise. Sure. Shoot this. sticks. I like it. The opponents, that's a gutsy play, because they probably know something like this could happen. Let's see how many cards we get. Not many! We hit a Magma Opus. LOL. Okay. Four cards should be easy mode. There we go. And for the finishing touch. Draw two cards. <laughs> oh, you can't? I guess you lose game. The card was... Saw it coming. Nope. Epiphany. Can you imagine? 
you push yourself to the precipice of MTG Arena Esports, only to battle Mill. Only to be stopped by Mill. That's the story. That's the story, the narrative we're pushing here today. Ice tunnel. Control? Are we good against control? Probably good against control, right? Tap land eye twitch. Okay, what's this? Something funky? Let's see if we can hit some land here. Oh, we did. All right, so we want enough snow lands. I guess this gets there. We really need another snarl. You never know. You never know. The merchant. The Skullport Merchant. Are we going to have to battle the Frost and Fire? It looks like it. Ooh, another one? I mean, I don't know about a Divide by Zero, but there might be a Planeswalker. Planeswalkers are pretty painful, but Frostbite takes care of most of it. This isn't going to be Kaya here. This is going to be Mind Flayer if they run that version, or it's going to be Lolth. Lolth we can pick off. Also, Battle gets Lolth, which is pretty awesome. Let's just keep the cards coming. Little bluff, little bluffies. I got two mana open. Who knows what I could do? Opponent brings the attack. Crawling Barons, huh? Another twitchy twitch? Sure. My turn. They have mana open. Mana that could play a counter spell. I think we've got to try to feel them out more before we go for the Battle of Frost and Fire. Gotta to try to feel them out a bit more. Though I'm not sure exactly what that all entails. Are they going to use the treasure for black mana here to sacrifice the Twitch? They are. I wonder. wonder what I'm supposed to do with that. Like, I could divide this by zero, and then they have to play it again, and then they might be out of mana. They might have a negate. I guess I'm cool with that. They might even say I want the treasure. But now we've got their hand full of nonsense. We've got enough land. We don't really want mascot exhibition too much. The teachings against this deck? Uncertain, but possible. Well, I'm just going to take the prophecy. When you're not sure, it's a pretty good fallback plan. Yep. Do we get a merchant? Maybe? A lot of, like, counterspell red flags going on here. If they move to end step, will Frostbite this? Okay. Because then they have to discard on their end step if they learn. Because they've got seven cards in hand. Okay, they're going to have to discard a few cards now. Like, th we're, ba we're playing their hand size against them. It's a pretty good strategy to just at least stay kind of even, plus we tap them out. I twitch and Skull Merchant. Okay, nice. We actually killed them. We actually killed those cards. Okay, do we get the 1-1s going and ramp to get ahead a little bit? I don't think so. Seems pretty mediocre. Let's go ahead and use Introduction. What we're trying to find is Maddening Cacophony. To take out half their deck. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Well, if we take enough turns in a row, we'll probably win. 
gonna hold up divide by zero, it's a great time to use it when we can possibly make them discard again. Okay, well, we can't make him discard. I guess we want to save this for some a 7-drop, right? This isn't quite scary enough. Prismari Command doesn't do too much here. We can be patient. Patience is okay. The opponent's not really putting us under much pressure. Yep, they want to keep drawing cards, that's fine. Uh, yeah, say go. If they have a counter spell, they might try to use it on Divide by Zero. All? Sure. Another Merchants? Sure. Trying to decide if I actually want to like draw and make treasure. Not very much. My cards are fine. Okay, let's run some battles at them. Let's see if they've got counter spells. Wish I had one more mana for the exhibition to count to counter that, but it is what it is. Okay, <laughs> everyone's got a million cards in hand. Yay! Battle of Frost and Fire, four damage to nothing. We did it. I'm starting to think they might not run counters, but I mean, it would be crazy to run blue and not run some Mystical Dispute, you know? Not Mystical Dispute, Disdainful Stroke. Like, I think that's one of the better cards you can run that like kind of fills in this deck's weaknesses. Okay, here's the Exhibition. All right, guys, we need an untapped land. Can we has untapped land? Thank you. That's going to make sure that the second battle resolves. Wow. All <laughs> oh, man. Shuffler is fine. Shuffler is fine. Double battle. And the rope is here. 37 cards. just waiting, just setting up. They don't know about the mill plan. We just want it to come out of nowhere. Okay, took them a minute, but they went for that. Bouncing the saw coming means that they will have it in the future, which is a bit of a problem. Let's grab teachings. Our hand's getting low. This resolves, blows up their stuff. They got a lot of creature lands. Eventually, that's a huge problem. Are they just going to sit on this counter spell or no? Foretell. Okay, they're just going to sit. You got to like that. <laughs> All right, whenever we cast a big spell, whenever we cast a big, big spell, something good happens. <laughs> uh, let's keep these to expressive iteration into potentially. Are we going to try to cast Epiphany this turn? Probably. We want that draw too. They'll probably counter it. We still get the cast trigger. Let's drop off Prismari Command. It's just not really doing anything here. We have four cards in hand. So this is a draw two now. Would you like to counter that as well? So many cards, so many cards. Another hideous laughter, another battle. Okay, another deadly dispute. Let's see. 
have they set themselves up in a spot where they can push my push through the battle or push through my battle? <laughs> they grab confront the past. I don't see any planeswalkers. They're at 33 cards. They cast their own epiphany. Shrug. Not the greatest epiphany I've ever seen. All right, and now they cast Mordenkainen. So this was their setup. They are another control deck. And now if they have a counter spell, they probably win. But we'll find out. There's the cacoph The cacophony is a bit late. It's a bit late. So how do we survive two turns if they have a counter spell here? I guess we do need this. I don't know if we can beat a counter spell, but we can try. Another counter spell, yep. But we do get two cards. Okay. Just a little bit off, aren't we? Just one land off of casting battle as well. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they power up a land. So what do we do? Hope that they don't go for it? Hope that they mess up? Yeah, I think we just have to hope for a mistake here. Which they shouldn't make, but if they like play a land and don't activate something, then we have a chance. Uh, that's pretty strong. Ah! One land off. Interesting game. Frost bites and laughter. You don't love seeing laughter right now, but what do you know? Green? You. Definitely our worst matchup. Ugh. Oh, come on. And the creature we can't kill. Nice. Nice. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. Okay, then. Well, at least they don't have a veil. But we don't have two red. Like, we can play this, but it won't get the job done. See? We have to have snowlands. So, we get clowned by our mana base with the snarls. The snarls will get you guys. They really will. Chariot? Eh? Eh? Alright, Gnarly Professor also pretty much GG. Battle? So we need to make them... Okay. We need to make them think that they shouldn't go for the anatomy and that they should play another creature instead. Okay, they did. Um, target put a counter on it for each creature. Well, good. No creatures. So what is this? Do we want to stop? Yeah, I think we do still have to make this play. Because otherwise we just take too much damage and we're close to dead. Down to five. People like the frog hemoth. I don't think it's that good. But people like it. Battle. Alright, they've got the Ranger class. They've got the Shambles. Okay, level two. We get another battle. That's pretty lucky. Alright, um, dual strike, two more laughters. Is that gonna be enough to mill them out though? It might be. We need like two consecutive turns of that. Epiphany is going to try to get us there. What does another land do? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I mean, is that good enough? I think we just stack it like this. All right, we're going to go for it. That's our plan. Laughter is going to. Laughter from. 48 cards. It's a long way to go, man. It's a heck of a top deck. It's a heck of a top deck to draw something there with Trample. That means it's going to end the game, potentially. It's really bad for us. 
I was ho I was counting on these birds to buy me one turn, and they're not gonna. They're just not gonna. That was a great draw. So now what do we need? Divide by zero? Something like that. Now our, our plan doesn't work. Divide by zero. Staying alive. Okay. We're going to need another mill effect, I think. I mean, do we just fire these off? They're not doing anything. They do play Frog Hemoth. Eh. I guess I should have left back one to force them to use the anatomy. I guess that wouldn't work. I guess leaving back two would have forced it. How much toughness? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power insanely close to just killing me. Okay, well that doesn't have trample. And we draw frostbite. We gotta kill the trampler though. They do have enough for their own mascot exhibition. Can't beat green, man. It's too good. It's just too good. Okay, they're not going for the exhibition, which is interesting. Just you, huh? So that absorbs six. Tramplers, man. That's tough. That's a tough draw. That is not great. But it gives us a few more draw steps. Interesting. Why would you do it like that? Why hold back? You could put the counters here. They're like really paranoid about trades, even though they have mascot exhibition. I guess they're playing around a counter spell. And that is another land. God, this deck is a heartbreaker. In the games where I think I'm going to pull it off against aggro, that's... Oh, it's just land, land, land. Look at this maniac. Number 199. Number 191 and playing with two hours to go in the season. Let's see if we can punish them. Punish them for this hubris. All right, and it looks like they're playing the deck that we wanted to play against today and just really haven't because, you know, matchmaking. Also, it does make sense. Uh, it should be aggro decks at the end of the season racing to top 1200. That makes a lot of sense. The ghast. Okay. So, we want to find a cacophony and then follow up with laughters, and that's probably how we end the game. Uh, it's Deadly Dispute! Oh no! Whatever will I do? They drew cards. I'm in so much trouble.
So, do they have a play to follow up and make my life hard? No. We're gonna behold this turn, that's why we play the untapped land. We've gotta get this out of the hand because of Elite Spellbinder. Oh, they found a Haven. Best card they have against us. If they've got the guts to use it. Skullport. Sure. Sure. <gasps> Bring it out. Battle. We just kind of want this to go off as soon as possible. So now we just need the critical mass of mill cards. And it, or dual strikes in this matchup. Because we can make blockers. We can take multiple turns. Like that card's annoying, but it's fine. Envy the straw. I will get what I want. Oh, we be learning. Divide. That's pretty cool. That can get back the battle. And getting back the battle is, you know, half the battle, G.I. Joe. I don't know. Um, there's another mill card. There's an expressive. Just drawing the expressive is really nice. Let's see. If we cast the epiphany this turn. Next turn. What's next turn look like? Next turn, we divide this back to our hand. Cast expressive. Play the land, have laughter. It's good. It's a good turn. No! Why didn't it... It didn't stop! It really didn't stop? No! Bad, bad video game. Bad video game. Alright, so... What are we playing this turn? We'll play the laughter this turn. Give me the dual strike in hand. Put this on the bottom. Exile this. Let's start the, start the party, eh? Twenty nine cards. Yep, you draw that card. Man, my my sick get my battle back and then mill them and then the next turn battle them again and wipe the board and stall for longer. This this might be fine since we found the dual strike anyway, but still salty. Just a little salty. I don't like it when the game doesn't work the way I want it to. Should have put the stop here. I don't know why putting it here didn't work. It does say stop before next turn, doesn't it? Menace is a pain. Uh-huh. Oh, plus it. Please. Please, plus your card. I love it. <laughs> A few more cards in the bin. There has to be an answer here. All right, let's take some turns. And in the meantime, power down these planeswalkers a bit. Vanishing verse, yeah. Defend! Defend the land! You're quite the 
Nice! I know, I know. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Probably good enough. 16 cards and then another eight. I mean, they could have expensive cards. Let's see. We'll play this one first. Thirteen, perfect. Dual strike. Cacophony. We have found the solution to blood money, everybody. We have found the solution to the greatest deck of them all, blood money. And of course we take your Liliana. We're mean like that. Yeah. And we are back for the post-game wrap. And, well, for those of you who have hated rogues and rune crab for a long time, you're probably happy to, happy to hear this, but my findings playing the deck is that Mill is, in fact, a meme. The format is way too aggressive to have Tasha's hideous laughter in your deck under any circumstances other than you're a bit of a memer who doesn't care as much about win rate and does love the joy and beauty and sensation that can only come from completely emptying your opponent's library to zero cards. And as somebody who has lived that life from the beginning, the first tournament I ever one was a million million years ago my friends running the card the actual card millstone by which mill has its name and that was my win con blue white control with two millstones as the win con that my friends is my first ever taste of true victory so i understand the joy of emptying the library but I wouldn't be trying to do that in 2022 outside of the play queue. I wouldn't be trying to do it outside of ha having fun, but this is the list that I would play for it. And I do think it's 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 a good time and it does steal victories. And the, the pain that the opponent probably goes through, uh, well, it's a special kind of pain. It's a kind of pain that only a true mill control mage can inflict. Do you have what it takes to inflict that kind of pain? Find out. And uh, before you craft the deck, do check out the stats. <laughs> Powered by untapped.gg. Not the winningest deck in the world, but was content made? Absolutely. Good luck to everybody in qualifying for the top 1,200. There's still an hour and a half to go. For those who did take a loss, they might be able to get back in. And we will see you in the next rank season, which starts in just a few hours. So thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You are cool.